Central Electoral Commission. Louise Miner, Euronews. A diplomatic row between Turkey and France is threatening to become an international firestorm as leaders across the globe enter the fray. On Saturday, Paris recalled its ambassador to Ankara after President Erdogan said his French counterpart, Emmanuel Macron, needed mental health checks, comments that the Elysee Palace called rude and insulting. Instead of backing away from the comments, Mr Erdogan repeated his remarks. The EU's top diplomat, Joseph Bure, called on Ankara to stop the dangerous spiral of confrontation, while several Muslim leaders have backed Mr Erdogan. At the heart of this is a dispute in a row over Islam, which Mr Macron described as a religion in crisis following the brutal murder of a French schoolteacher earlier this month in France by an Islam Islamic extremist. Our international correspondent Annelise Borges is following the developments for us from Paris. Annelise, morning to you. Erdogan and Macron, they both appear to be playing really to a domestic audience. What are their aims in this row? Hi there, Rosie. Well, absolutely. Both leaders are playing to their domestic audiences. Erdogan is basically uh, placing religion at the heart of politics, which is something he excels at, which is something that he's basically built his career on and something that plays well with his core supporters, supporters of his Justice and Development Party. As for Emmanuel Macron, well, he is... Uh, trying to defend the values of the French Republic, secularism, freedom of expression, which, according to France's president, are under threat. Of course, the timing of this is very interesting for Emmanuel Macron because he's basically running a re-election campaign, albeit unofficially. Uh, France will hold a presidential vote here in 2022. And Emmanuel Macron has been trying to appeal to voters on the right and some say on the far right. He's launched a project against radical Islam earlier this year and of course with the murder of that history teacher Samuel Paty earlier this month now that project of Emmanuel Macron has been placed front and center of the political debate. This isn't the only argument between Paris and Ankara right now. What are the broader implications of this latest row? There are multiple geopolitical tensions playing out simultaneously here, Rosie. France and Turkey stand on opposite sides with regards to multiple crises such as uh, Libya, uh, Syria, but also Nagorno-Karabakh, the eastern Mediterranean. So uh, for a while now, Erdogan has been... Uh, very clear about his ambitions for Turkey. He wants to increase Turkey's influence on the international arena. But what is particular about this crisis is that by accusing Emmanuel Macron of uh, stigmatizing a part of the population here in France, the Muslim population, but also offending Muslims all around the world, Erdogan has placed France against Islam, which is, of course, a very dangerous move and what is more dangerous is that his words have echoed across the Arab world. We have seen calls for boycott of French products basically multiplying across the Arab world in Jordan, but also Kuwait, Syria, Qatar. Um, for now, France's president is standing firm. He released a tweet earlier today in Arabic, trying to bypass all these world leaders addressing the Arab world, saying that we will not give in Ever. We respect differences and France will always be on the side of human dignity and universal values. Annelise, thank you very much. Our international correspondent there in Paris. Pakistan's Prime Minister Imran Khan also had a